Hi, it's Lindsay Bateman here and I'm going to show you how you can obtain beautiful mixed media layering in the new Mink Art Journals. Here you can see I have added some art screens, texture paste, reactive mist, stencils, and foils with some embellishments to create a beautiful page in my art journal. So I want to demonstrate the basic techniques on how you can do the same thing. So to begin, I took an art screen, a floral art screen, and added it onto my page. I then added black foil on top and ran it through my mink machine to create my base layer. Once that was complete, I removed the foil and you can see the beautiful floral design. I then decided to add on another art screen on top, this time polka dots, using the same technique. I applied the reactive art screen ink and simply let it dry. Once it was completely dry, and I cleaned off my area. I added a beautiful champagne foil to the image. Once I remove the foil, you'll see how gorgeous the two foils look on the same page. Now I'm using the reactive mist. This reactive mist can be sprayed anywhere on your page in whatever design you choose. It does take additional drying time, so I'm using a heat tool to make sure that it is nice and dry and can be run through the mink. Once I prepare my mink machine on heat setting 3 and it's ready to go, I'm going to add the rose gold ombre foil onto this layer. Once I remove this foil, I will now have three different designs and three different foil colors on my one page. Isn't that awesome? Now for an additional feature, I am going to use texture paste on top. I am applying it using a stencil and a scraping tool and you can see how fun the white texture paste adds to my page and makes such additional texture, beautiful texture. Because it takes a little bit of drying time as well, I am using a heat tool to set that as well. Once that's complete, I am going to finish it off with a beautiful spray of blush color shine. This gives the finishing touch and really helps the foil colors pop even more. And there you can see how I created my journal page. 